hello in there. So a good friend of mine, and you need to check out his channel, Jody Hughes, you can find him here on YouTube, suggested that I ought to do this song. He says, hey, you ought to do Rainbow Connection. I said, yeah, I think I can do that. But if you're looking for something a little more uh, than what I'm offering, check out Jody Hughes. And you, you can find him here on YouTube. You can just type in Jody Hughes Banjo, and you, you can find him. So, But anyway, I'm just going to go through Rainbow Connection. It's, it's real simple. And keep in mind, it's a singing song. It's a song. <laughs> and uh, the main thing, the main thing for me th when I when I first started playing this was just the right hand. Getting a new pattern. It's a three four song, uh, but this this may be a little different right hand pattern for you. And I know all you've read the rules, it's like, you know, don't use the same finger twice in a row, yada yada. Well, we're gonna throw a lot of that out the window today because we're gonna use we're gonna use our thumb twice in a row. And some of you may have already done that, and some of you haven't. Uh, but the song's slow enough, so it really doesn't matter a whole lot. So I'm gonna show you the right hand pattern, and then I'm gonna spin around here and try to get get all of me in the picture, at least at least the banjo part. And but I'm just gonna walk you through that new right hand pattern, and then show you how that pattern you can take it and just play the whole song with just that one pattern. So the pattern is going to be thumb on the four, so thumb, thumb on the third, and you're going to pinch one and two with your fingers, and then thumb on the third, so, and then you're going to hit your index on the third, so thumb, thumb, pinch, thumb, pinch, index. So that's the pattern we're going to use. Now you can do it. You you can do it with just you can do it with just your thumb. You can thumb I just find it easier if I use my my index finger for that last little note. So the first time, so that that's your pattern. All right. So to apply that, we're gonna let's see. We need me to move back just a notch. There we go. Oh, I can see my face. That's different. So we're going to do going to do our pattern one time. That's. And then you're going to hold the C chord and just that first so it's going to be thumb thumb pinch. And so that that gives you your riff, the thing that everybody will know. You, you can do that much and everybody's like, "Uh, ah, rainbow connection." So here it is. your riff for rainbow connection and then it's just a matter of figuring out the chords now you can look online and find so i did i went out online i looked and said here here's some chord changes for give me the chord changes for rainbow connection i just wanted to see what i was doing was right and you'll, you'll get a half a dozen or more different ways of doing this song so i just i'm just going to play it like i play it and you can play it like you play it but so, or you can pick any of the chord change recommendations online that you want. But I'll walk you through the chords, and they're super simple. Uh, they can have fancy names, you know, chord names. But we're just going to use basic shapes. So now instead of holding that whole C chord, you can hold it with your index finger up. So that gives you... And so our pattern is going to be a G, E minor, C chord, D7. 
So that's our walk. It's one, six minor, four, five. Now, that six, that four, you could also play an A minor there. So you can play a two minor over that. Either one will work. The six on, on the banjo, if you play or or so you play A minor and you can play that C, it's an A minor seven. We just don't have enough strings to so it can be whatever you want it to be. So so that's our pattern for the bulk of the song. One So that's what we're going to do. So I'll go through it. God bless me. I'm going to sing. So why are there so many songs about rainbows? And what's on the other side? You can stay on that. Rainbows are visions. Now for the chorus, it's going to go to E minor. So, so, so we've been told that some choose to believe it. Now it goes to a B minor, so we're going to slide up the fourth fret, index here, uh, middle finger there, and then I actually hold the third and the fourth together. So it's four, four, three, four. I know they're waiting. And then I go to a D7 chord, but I stretch it out. So, so hold your regular D7 chord, and then I'm going to take my pinky and put it on fourth fret. I know that might be a stretch, but it, it's worth doing. And then C chord. D chord, B minor, E chord, so, so A minor, D7, and then so I so we've been told and some choose to believe it. I know they're on wait and see. Someday we'll find it, the rainbow connection.
there you go. Good luck with it. See you next time.